Alright, only going through the steps on how to move Bitrader from your computer. You're going to have to follow these steps exactly, because if you mess up, it will not work. So, you're going to go to Star Wars Old Republic, and open file location. Now you're going to go down to Launcher, and open it. Now, you're changing, in here, what I'm changing. You're changing BR to SSN. Now, next thing you're changing is log levels. Well, my log levels has an underscore, so it's fine. But if your log levels looks like this, you need to add an underscore to it. Now, you're going to change Bitrader Disable from False to True. Alright, now, the next thing you're looking for is the Bitrader Download Complete. You're just you're just going to add these things to it. Now, after you've done all of this, after you've changed all of this, you're done. Now you're going to save it. And you're done with that. You can get rid of it. Now, you're going to right click on Bitrader and you're going to delete it. Because you don't need it. Now, you're going to be going to C users you're going to go to public now you're going to go to public documents now you're going to right click on bitrader and delete it and you're done you can close it now, you're going to go to Control Panel, uninstall a program, and wait on it to load up. Now, you're looking for Bitrader in here. This is how I can find it. There it is, Bitrader Streaming Client. You're going to uninstall. Yes. And after it's uninstalled, you can close it, because you're done. Now, you're going to boot up Star Wars Children Republic and log in. Now, it's going to re-download the entire game. Because Bitrader's gone. But after it re-downloads, you'll no longer have problems with it. Because Bitrader is what causes problems with this game. So, after the game is redownloaded, you should no longer have problems with Star Wars. Hopefully. Anyways, that's how you move Bitrader.